Let's talk about one of the world's most debated weapons of all time, the SCAR, which was originally developed in 04 for use by the special operations community. No, not the bad guy from Disney's classic, The Lion King. With a rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute, fired in either the 5.56 or 7.62 versions, the rifle has some major advantages when compared to other weapon systems. It was originally meant to replace the M4A1, which was new at the time, and we hadn't fully worked out all of the kinks with the weapon yet. It was having some minor exploding barrel issues when fired on full auto. SOCOM wanted a main battle rifle that was ambidextrous and modular, so you could swap out parts based on the mission. They also wanted barrels that would explode like never. In a dust test, the SCAR suffered 226 stoppages, while the M4 had 886 out of 60,000 rounds fired. The performance of the SCAR is undeniable, but the weapon costs almost three times the amount, which is part of the reason why only special forces units use the gun. The other part of the reason is you can't trust a line unit with nice, shiny guns. Stop calling it a gun. Guns are artillery. It's actually a rifle. Shut up, you lousy 13 Bravo. Nobody asked you. You can still find people on both sides of the aisle, though. Some claim the M4 is a dumpster fire of a weapon, and others claim the SCAR is an overpriced lemon. When I was deployed, you only saw the SCAR occasionally. It was usually slung around the neck of some bearded guy wearing jeans, which only added to the weapon's mysterious pull. The SCAR-H allows the operator to use a weapon conversion kit to conveniently change the rifle from firing 7.62 rounds to 5.56 millimeter. And in my experience, anytime the military tries to make something that's everything at once, it usually fails. See the Army's Universal Camo, or the F-35, or the Bradley, but every once in a while, the military planning strikes gold. The SCAR has proven extremely popular. Even the enemy is envious of the weapon. In 2005, a captured SCAR was photographed in the hands of a Taliban insurgent. But don't worry, missing SCAR. Maybe after a decade, we'll exchange a few AK-47s for you. The weapon has a short stroke gas piston system, which allows for the stock to be fully collapsed. That's a key advantage to the platform. It's versatile, reliable, and accurate. The military deemed the 5.56 mm SCAR light version redundant compared to the newest version of the M4. Now the military only purchases the SCAR heavy 7.62 version. So why doesn't the army replace all of their M4s with the SCAR if it has an advantage, you might ask? Great question. Training soldiers on the 7.62 is way more difficult because of the increased recoil. And if anyone used the SCAR H, they would mean more pounds added to the combat load, which, as you know, is extremely heavy as it is. If you're in a regular line unit, and you're sore about getting this news that you can't rock the SCAR like the Rangers and SF guys do, then you can at least be happy to know you can use the SCAR in Fortnite. Nobody plays Fortnite anymore. All right, who invited the 13 Bravo?